Okay, hello everyone. So we are going to solve practice problem 15.2 from Sadiku book. So the question is to find the Laplace transform of 50 multiplied by cosine omega t ut dt. Okay, so now we need to plug this function into the definition of Laplace transform, which is integral from uh, 0 to infinity. And our ft here, so we will have 50 cosine omega t ut. I mean, that this is not dt here. And we multiply this function here by e to the minus st. And we integrate this with respect to time. Okay, now, so now let's do some simplification from here. Okay, now remember that we have ut. And ut is defined as a function where it is, its value is 0 when t is less than 0. And it is 1 when t is greater than or equal to 0. But here, our integration limit is from 0 to infinity, so this ut will just cancel into 1, right? So, let's simplify this integral. So, I will have integral from 0 to infinity, and then 50 cosine omega t, then multiplied by e to the minus st dt okay now we can rearrange this function here so we will have i want to write the exponent first so i will have 50 e to the minus st and then multiplied by cosine omega t dt and here we have an exponential function multiplied by trigonometric function. So the right way to do this is by using integration by parts. So now let's define our parts. So if we name this as our u and this part here as our dv. So we will have u is equal to 50 e to the minus st and that means that our du is equal to 50 s but the sign will be negative so let's rewrite that du is equal to minus 50 s multiplied by e to the minus st dt and then our dv is cosine omega t and dt. So we will integrate both sides and we will get v is 1 over omega sine omega t. Yeah, that's it. So let's plug this into integration by parts formula, which is integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral v du. Okay, so now here this integral is equal to now u, u multiplied by v. So I will get 50 over omega multiplied by e to the minus st and then sine omega t right and then minus integral v our v is here 1 over omega sine omega t and then our du is minus 50 s e to the minus st 
and this minus will cancel out into this one and I want to make that 50s is here 50s is here and I want to write the exponential first so I will have e to the minus st sine omega t dt okay so far so good and do not forget that we have the integration bound here from 0 to infinity and this is also from 0 to infinity and now when we plug infinity to this function that will equal to 0 but if we plug 0 to this function this will also become 0 right because sine 0 is 0 so we will have this all this function cancel out into 0 right so now we only need to concentrate into this integration so let's write that so we only need to concentrate into integral from 0 to infinity 50 s over omega e to the minus st then sine omega t dt okay so now i want to clean all of this mess and we will walk from this one okay so far we have simplified this messy integral into this one but this is still also messy so now let's see what can we do about this so we integrate this with respect to time so this 50s over omega is constant with respect to time right so we can move out the integral from here or we can take out this constant outside the integral so we will have this one integral from 0 to infinity okay so now we have this part again exponential and trigonometric function and just like before we need to use integration by parts so this is our u and this is our dv right now our u is e to the minus st so we will have du is equal to minus s e to the minus st dt and our dv is sine omega t dt and that means that our v is minus 1 over omega cosine omega t right so let's plug all the parts into integration by parts formula so this will equal to 50s over omega multiplied by uv now our u is this one and our v is this one and so we will have e to the e to the minus st and then v v is this one minus 1 over omega so let's make it here 1 over omega and the sign is minus so let's put it there minus 1 over omega e to the minus st and then cosine omega t minus integral of v du so this becomes plus so minus with minus will become plus and 1 over omega so let's just rewrite that and it's du so we will have minus s from here so i will have minus sign here so we will have s from here and then e to the 
minus st cosine right yeah cosine omega t dt okay so all of this comes like that and now what can we do from here we plug in the limit of integration now this is from zero to infinity and this is also from zero to infinity okay now let's take a look at this one first outside the integral so when we plug infinity here this term e to the minus st will become zero but if we plug zero this term here becomes one and cosine also becomes one so this term becomes one over omega so let's rewrite that 50 s divided by omega multiplied by 1 over omega and then minus this messy integral here but we can take out s over omega right so s over omega integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus st cosine omega t dt okay but then I can distribute this 50 inside. So we will have 50 inside. So we'll have 50 over away. 50 over omega, I mean. And then 50 s over omega. But we can take the 50 inside the integral. So I will I want to make it here. So 50. And this is integral from 0 to infinity okay okay great now let's see here what can we get from here if we take a look carefully here we have integral from 0 to infinity of 50 e to the minus st multiplied by cos omega t dt and that is exactly this one right and that one is this initial Laplace transform. So let's name that i and this will equal to i, right? So from here I will get i is equal to s over omega multiplied by 50 over omega minus s over omega multiplied by i okay so now we have a simplified equation here and we need to solve this for i to get our initial goal okay let's do that okay now let's distribute this s over omega to this inside the bracket so we will have 50 s over omega square and then minus s squared divided by omega squared multiplied by i is equal to i okay now the natural way to solve this is to move this term containing i to the left hand side so i will have i plus s squared over omega squared i is equal to 50 s divided by omega squared okay now great now remember that this is one the coefficient of i here is one and we can rewrite one as omega squared over omega squared so on the left hand side we can get omega squared plus s squared which is s squared plus omega squared divided by omega squared multiplied by i is equal to 50 over omega squared now we can cross multiply this so we will get i is equal to 50 over omega squared multiplied by omega squared divided by s squared plus omega squared and this omega squared will cancel out and our i is equal to 50 
divided by s squared plus omega squared. So the Laplace transform of this function, 50 cosine omega t ut is 50 divided by s squared plus omega squared. And this is the final answer of our problem. So hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation. Thank you for watching and bye bye.